welcome to Introductory Chemistry, Chemistry 1410 at CNM. I'm Julie Fuller, and um, these very unprofessional lecture series I'm making just here at my home computer, and hopefully that will help you um, understand the class a little bit better. So we're going to start out, um, before we dive into Chapter 1, talking a little bit about the course. So starting about with the syllabus, um, hopefully you've seen the syllabus. A, a couple of important things to notice. The materials that you need for this class are the textbook and a calculator. It needs to be a scientific calculator, but it doesn't have to be a graphing calculator. Read through the syllabus and notice the policies um, and the grading in particular. Notice the policy on late work and on missing assignments. And I want to point out if you miss more, and then four assignments, you could be dropped from the class. So be careful that you keep up. If you find yourself falling behind or needing extra time, just let me know. I'm happy to work with you, but if I see you not participating anymore, I'll kind of assume that you're done with the class and probably just drop you from the class. Uh, the grade comes from quizzes, discussions, exam, and then the midterm and the final. So the Quizzes you'll have every week. You'll have one or two quizzes every week. Discussions, there's about three in the class. The exams, there's three. And then there's one midterm and one final. And of course, those two count the most. Um, and you can see on the syllabus how much each part counts into your grade. Um, so you can be careful of that and keep track of your grade as you go. I recommend you print the schedule page. You can use this kind of as a checklist to check off that you've done all the assignments that are due every week. Um, then I want to move into the CNM Learn shell or the Blackboard shell and point out some important aspects of that, in particular the menu and the learning module. So hopefully that helps you understand the class. Let's go on to the content now and the content in Chapter 1. Chapter 1 um, is kind of an introduction to chemistry. So chemistry is defined as the study of matter. And matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. And so it's a pretty broad definition. Matter includes almost everything, but what it doesn't include is things like energy, um, light, thoughts, those kind of things. But matter is all things that have mass and occupy space. Matter is all made up of atoms and molecules, and so these are the very tiny building blocks of all matter. And atoms are the smallest particle, and we'll talk a lot about atoms in this class. So why do we learn chemistry? Um, it's a really important subject. Many aspects are, of our lives are touched by science, and many all the sciences really are touched by chemistry. Understanding of matter is important to all these sciences, and so chemistry is critical to all sciences. Um, it's also important that as you understand science and chemistry better, you understand the world you live in better, and that's helpful. Another thing you'll learn in this class is a lot of problem solving, and these methods can be applied and useful in many applications, not just chemistry problems. We'll address the scientific method. Um, the scientific method is the way scientists discover information, and it's a process that emphasizes observation and experimentation. And so that's what's important about it. Observation is super important, um, not always just what you can see, but what you can measure and find from instruments as well. Um, and it's an it's a iterative process. You start by asking a question, you do some research, you co construct a hypothesis which is your idea of what's going on. You test it with an experiment, then you analyze your results, and based on your results, you either accept your hypothesis or modify your hypothesis and repeat again. So that's kind of the scientific method. It doesn't always work in the same way for every question, but it's kind of the idea of come up with an idea and test it with something you can observe and measure. So some definitions, hypothesis is a limited explanation of a phenomenon. Theory and a law are more groupings of hypothesis, well-tested hypothesis. So these definitions um, are from a particular book, but there's different definitions, but they're 
They're basically scientific laws and theories are supported by a large body of experience experiments, and they're widely accepted by the vast majority of scientists with, within a discipline. Um, they could change over time, but for now, they're kind of the best information we have. So how do you succeed in chemistry? Chemistry can be a very difficult class, and um, I think it's important that you realize that from the beginning and understand that there's going to be a lot of work involved. Um, first of all, read, watch, and attend lectures. So get the information um, either from the book or from watching to eat. figure out what your learning style is and, and make sure you're addressing that. Take notes and review your notes regularly. And in big bold, work problems. Working problems is the most important tool you'll have. You're not going to learn chemistry with me talking or, or Tyler DeWitt talking to you. You're going to learn it by doing the problems yourself. So work the problems. Work problems out of the PowerPoints, from, from the concepts and problems worksheets, from your um, quizzes, whatever problems. Do a lot of problems. Talk to people about chemistry. Make study groups. Talk to the tutors. It helps to talk about it. Learn from your mistakes. When you submit your quiz, look at the answers. Make sure you understand how to do the problems. And learning takes time. Um, two hours a day is probably what it's going to take you. And you can't really cram it all at the end. You need to put in measured time throughout the week to succeed in chemistry. Some resources to help you, um, and you'll see these in CNM Learn. Connect um, is sort of like the counseling office, the veteran success, CNM job connection services, tutoring, and office hours. When you need help, get help quickly and um, don't fall behind because that just makes the problem worse. 